Hello guys, this is Francisco Contreras from the Baker team and we are going to be checking how to test the Baker Android project in a few simple steps so you can play with it and check its features. First of all, we are going to download the Baker Android library from the GitHub repository to your local file system and we will go from there. Since I already have Android Studio installed in my computer, I'm going to go ahead and open the project by selecting the Abaker project folder and click choose. As you can see, it starts synchronizing. But if this is your first time opening Baker Android, it may fail because it's missing some packages we need to install before testing the app. Okay, to solve this, we'll open our HDK manager. Wait till it's fully loaded. and install the following packages. Android SDK build tools on its version 19.0.1. Then go to extra node and also check Android support repository, Android support library. Google Play services and finally Google Play repository and click install. Once we start installing, we just need to accept all licenses, previously read them of course, and then click install again. I'm going to speed this up since it takes some time and we don't want this tutorial to grow that much. Okay, we're done. Now, let us try to sync to make sure we have all running as needed. There we go, we have a successful sync. And we can now make the changes to test the application. Baker Android is developed as a library, so we need to delete this to turn into an application and see it running. Personally, I will show you a nice tool we can use to test the app. It is called Motion. It's a virtual device manager and we can use this for free on personal use. We can also find a paid option with more features and support. From Motion, we will be able to create as many virtual devices we need to test our application. And I say, they run pretty fast. We will be using a Galaxy Nexus for this tutorial that I already started. Okay, let's do this. Since we change our plugin to Android to make our project an app and not a library, we can resync in order to check everything. Or just start debugging. Since I already started the virtual device, I will need to restart it to be detected by the Android device manager. And as it starts, you can see it shows up on the list. Now just select it and hit OK. The app will start and will show you the file shell from Baker. And there you go, play with it as much as you like. Hope you enjoyed this. This is Francisco Contreras from the Baker team. Till next time, bye bye.